Hello, this is Cheo with a special report. We're so pleased to have two guests with us today to talk about health, starting with Dr. Veronica Plaza, who teaches medical Spanish on the University of New Mexico campus and also does a lot of community service, especially in the Hispanic community. And also one of our students, Yarira Salazar Sanchez. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us. And both of them are going to talk to us about the services, medical services to students, and a special day uh, that, that will be discussed in just a few minutes. With that, let me invite both of you to make a few comments, and we'll start with Dr. Plaza and then Yarira. Sure. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to share about the National Healthcare Decision Day. That's the day that is celebrated nationwide, nationwide on April 16. And it's a day that invite us to, um, to take some time to start a conversation with our loved ones about healthcare decisions. We all make healthcare decisions every day, um, from what we eat, what we if we exercise, or if we drink enough water. We are in New Mexico, so that's a that is a health the health decision. But the ones that are we're talking today, more specifically, is about. They're what we call advanced planning, and that is uh, advanced directives, and that's kind of a document that you can fill up on letting people, your healthcare providers, and your loved ones about what your wishes are, in case that you cannot speak up for yourself. And we have the opportunity with the medical Spanish program to uh, help some of the local and national organizations to develop some bilingual documents, health literacy documents, that can help to start a conversation. Thank you. Especially in our Hispanic communities, and it's a way to communicate, and a lot of this information is in Spanish. So, Yadida, what comments do you have to share with us? Yes, it's important, especially coming from a Hispanic family, we usually, we're not used to starting the conversation or even touch the, the subject. So it's really important that we create awareness. Not only, and it's, it's really definitely important that we have these documents now bilingual so that we can have access and read. It's different when you have a translator, right? Or when you walk into a medical office and you're handed this, this information in English. Our parents that don't speak Spanish sometimes like, oh, what is this? You try to explain it to them, but it's easier for you to just have that conversation at home where they feel comfortable started and now even for our students we encourage them to start the conversation usually um, especially first generation uh, students that attend college are the ones that the parents rely a lot on them right so they're the ones that are in charge of making this important decisions for their parents mm -hmm. so it's really important that we have we start the conversation somewhere well thank you because it's through uh, many of the students is through your class medical Spanish that, that they go into the community now and are able to explain this in the proper language in Spanish. And you also have a video in Spanish that explains the, 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 the special day for um, health decisions. Yeah, our students were able to provide that, provide that service. And so we're very proud of the work that they're doing, that they're translating what they're learning in the classroom to a service, service to the community and to the, the bilingual, bilingual community, not only in New Mexico, but nationwide. So we invite you to, on April 16, to take the time to think about who is that person that can speak for you, if you cannot speak up for yourself, and share that with your families and complete the forms. And if you, um, if you want to, you can bring that to your primary care provider here in our, you, um, university community if you are receiving care at SHAC you can bring that there or you can you know have that family member that um, know what is that you wish to receive in terms of, of treatment so we're honored um, that we be able to provide that service for our community and I want to especially thank all the students that have worked hard in making it possible. Thank you. Yanira, any final comments to the students? No, it's just let's be create awareness and promote this this services that are offered not only so that we know what our family wants and does not want. So it's really important that we create awareness, 
and just start the conversation. We have to start it at some point. Excellent. Well, yes. thank you, Dr. Plaza. Thank you, Yadida. Thank you. And, thank you. And, and we appreciate everything you do for our students and for the community. Thank you. Until next time, this is Cheo.